Scores of electric car startups have been launched over the past few years, looking to gain a toehold in the industry. But succeeding in the business may be no easy ride. Neo, once the shining hope for Chinese electric car startups, is flirting with collapse, with losses piling up, cash flowing out the door, and the share price plunging. And in the UK, Dyson has just announced it will abandon its electric vehicle project. The company had originally earmarked around $2.5 billion for car and battery development, but it failed to find a buyer for its designs and said its plans to build a car from scratch in Singapore were no longer commercially viable. One key reason startups are attracted to the market is because battery-powered vehicles are comparatively cheap to develop and manufacture. Electric vehicles are in effect a battery and chassis on wheels, in contrast to the thousands of complex moving parts in the internal combustion engine. China has seen the biggest influx of new groups, helped by subsidies and cheap financing. Tesla, the Californian pioneer, has given other groups the confidence to take the plunge, but the electric car market is now more competitive and the environment is tougher for delivering profits. Many manufacturers fail to recognize the costs involved in creating supply and retail chains, which can run into the billions. As well as high costs, startups have struggled with the rigors of scale manufacturing. Many new groups also underestimate the challenge of building a brand in a sector where established giants have spent years developing a loyal customer base. Existing car makers also have the advantage of a deep well of combustion engine vehicles that allow them to offset the losses from battery cars. Still, despite the challenges and risks, scores of startups continue to pile into the market, willing to risk failure.